Our first guest is a Golden Globe winning actor whom you know from The Wrestler, Sin City, The Expendables, and many other chick flicks. Starting Friday, he plays the bloodthirsty King Hyperion in the new adventure movie Immortals. Please say hello to Mickey Rourke. <laughs> Everything all right? Stress. Stress? Yeah, I got an eye infection, and they said it was from stress. Is that right? Yeah. They say everything is from stress because they don't want to look into things. Yeah, I know. How can you get an infection from stress? I was in uh, making a movie over in Indonesia, uh -huh. something called Java Heat. Really? Yeah. Is and, it about uh, coffee? Not at all. <laughs> I didn't read the whole script. But <laughs> I read my part, but yeah, I don't know if you ever, but it takes 23 hours to get there, and uh, I, I call it Amnesia instead of Indonesia. But every time I would order, like, I ordered spaghetti, they'd put an egg on top of it. Then I would order cereal, they'd put an egg on top of it. You know, I, you know oh, it was one of those places. Maybe you've got the bird flu or something from know. too many eggs. <laughs> well, the doctor said there's something going on in there, but I'd rather take care of it after you see Jimmy. Oh, well, thank you. That's nice of him. Yeah. Nice of you to, <laughs> yeah. to hold back on your health for me. Uh, well, uh, well, you look fine. I mean, your eye doesn't look, um, no. it doesn't look red or anything. It looks okay. No, it's all right. It's all right. Some, gave me some shit. Maybe you're turning into an, an egg or a chicken an, an or egg. a gay <laughs> penguin. <laughs> hey, I heard you were out very late last night. Could that possibly have something to do with this? You heard. You had the premiere of the movie last we night. We did, we did, yeah. And was that, is that fun for you? Do you still enjoy those sorts of things? Not as much as I did a long time ago, uh -huh. but you know I like this movie, so it was a good ride. It and was, who was came out? Who did, who like who came to support the film? Truthfully, yeah, Chuck Liddell, uh huh, Rashad Fighters, uh huh, uh, Alistair Overeem, Frank Shamrock. A lot that, of tough guys. That crew, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, what do you guys do? You like have a few drinks and then wrestle? No, we just. <laughs> <laughs> well. My only real, my, the only real actor friend I have that I roll with is Jason Statham, and he's he's over in Prague. Oh, he is bored out of his mind. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, so, you know. Really, you don't have any other actors. No, I friends. do, but Jason, I see a lot. I mean, okay. he, he, uh, we do things together. You yeah. guys are are you BFFs? Would you say yeah. FFBs? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So okay, so you were out and you went to this party, and then was there an after party and yeah. an after after the party party? No, just after party because we had a lot of to do today. Uh huh. And, uh, <laughs> And, you know, there was a lot of... I invited the important people, like my mechanic I've had for 20 years out here because I had a lot of souped-up cars that didn't run worth their uh -huh. because of the because of the way I drive, not because of my mechanic. Okay. So I have to invite my mechanic and my dentist, you know. And really? My, and my psychiatrist. <laughs> you know. Did your psychiatrist really come? Yeah. yeah. That seems... Isn't that yeah. against the rules of psychiatry? No, because a, a, several years ago, when after... Well, I did 13 years of therapy with him when I wasn't working. Well, okay. I mean, for 13 years when I wasn't working, then I went to see him. I see. And so he said he could fix me up. Uh huh. He said I could put you back together again, where it won't be so scary to meet you or stuff like that. So we've been working on change. And <laughs> he said to me, uh, he said to me, change is the hardest thing in the world. You know, it's just that it doesn't happen overnight. 13 years later, but. Anyway, about six years, <laughs> six years ago when I started working again, or seven or eight, he came to, a, I, I was very proud, he came to uh, some movie I did, and he, I saw him looking over and he's hugging everybody. He's hugging this one, and I can't measure the names of that one. I, I'm thinking, ah, he knows everybody. Oh. Yeah, yeah so. Oh, you know wow. Yeah. So he's like a uh, He calls himself, he says, I am the Rolls Royce of what I do. Oh, really? Yeah, so I'm a Cadillac. He's, so he's yeah. a humble man. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, when I was flat broke for a number four or five years, he carried me to the tune of like 78,000. He and, did? Yeah, and he said to me, I know one day you'll pay me back. So, what? Or I'll tell everybody all the stuff you told oh, me. It was, a, <laughs> <laughs> it was already in the paper. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll talk about yeah. it on Regis. Yeah. I heard that you are working on a movie. This is a film that you're putting together yourself? Yes, yes. About uh, a, a pretty amazing guy, a rugby player who... I'm glad you put it that way first. Okay. Well, okay. he is a rugby player. I know, but they, they usually put it the other way around. 
Oh, I see. Okay. You, you want to say it? Yeah, well, who came out while he was playing, right? Yeah, while... How would you describe him? A what player? Well, he's a gay rugby no, player. he's a rugby player. Well, I gay. said rugby I player, know, and you kept me going until no, I got the game. He, he corrected me on it, and I see his point, you know? So yeah, he's yeah. a legendary... But I didn't make the mistake. <laughs> no, he's, he's a legendary player. He's a he's yeah. great... He's, I have a photograph of him. Uh, his name's Gareth Thomas. Gareth Thomas. And, um... <laughs> And yeah, I can see why yeah. he wasn't worried about be, about any trouble in the locker room because no. No. he looks like uh. about the toughest and scariest guy you could ever see in your life. Yeah. I'll have nightmares about this. In fact, if people are waking up right now, this could be a terrifying moment. <laughs> so you're gonna play him? He's on a plane right now. He came in for the premiere. Good, good. And because um, we had to get things sorted out, you know, because here it is. He's a legendary player. He retired last week. So he's got a lot on his plate because for since he was 16 or 14, he's been playing rugby his whole life. And then I come along and say, man, I want to, I want to, I want to. He's the first athlete as a professional in all sports who's come out and said, I'm gay while he's still playing. And yeah. I thought that took a lot of courage. He, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. In team sport. Yeah. Right, yeah. And, uh, Especially in a sport like rugby. It's, yeah, and it's not the same in the showers anymore with the boys, but, you know, <laughs> but uh, now it's even better. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, you know, when, when I met him, uh -huh. I was a little nervous because I, you know, I said, well, I know how to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, he said, well, I, he called it, it's my little secret. And you could tell that for 24 years, whatever, it's been tearing him up inside to live. A, he says, he calls it my little lie. So the guy had a lot on his plate. He was married for six years. He had to tell his wife. Wow. You can make a joke about that, but still. Well, no, I no, mean, you that's, can't. Go ahead. that's I know pretty... You like uh, <laughs> well, I have a feeling uh, she I knew. Know. He had to, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. It's a really? kind of a Welsh thing. No, oh. he had to tell his wife. He had to tell his parents. He had to tell his team, his coach, his team. And then when he came out, all the fans knew. Aside from the fans in Wales, he, you know, when you go away and play against the enemy... Yeah, right. They really, you know, said some nasty... And they're brutal just to right, start yeah. with. Right, yeah. So yeah. he had a lot on his plate, and I thought this would... This That's would, a, an amazing this story. This would be some journey. And, uh, you know, his biggest thing with... When I said I'd like to make your movie, he wants to give kind of message to other people that are locked in, the, you know, the... Yeah. What his, his trip was all about. Maybe if he can save, he said, one person from going through what I had to go through. And I think he, it, it could be a message to a lot, even though I don't get on a soapbox and all that, you know. Now, how are you going to handle the, um, the teeth? Because he doesn't have any. I don't have any in the front either. You don't? No. What are the, what am I seeing there? This is all the bridge. Oh. Yeah. What happened to your teeth? I got hit years ago when I was like 14 in a park. We were having a big thing, you know, in the middle of the <laughs> night. I got hit with a sprinkler system. <laughs> you know, the thing that goes. Oh, I think you meant the whole sprinkler system. But I got system. hit over here, <laughs> and then over a, like a four or five year period, they would fall out. You know, they decalcify because of the shock. Because I remember I started to go to acting school, and I'm going. I was eating a hot dog I'm in the village one day, and I'm thinking, what, the, what I got in there? It's crunchy, you know. <laughs> I got home and I, I looked in the mirror and I didn't have no front teeth, and I was, I, one broke, one broke off, one was gone. So when I used to have to get up in front of the acting class, it was, you know, I had to speak like this, you know. Wow, well, yeah, that's, yeah, that seems like a negative for an actor. Hard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I met a, uh, a gay Chinese doctor. Because uh -huh. I had no money, uh -huh. and I let him touch me up to here. <laughs> and he took care of the teeth, you know? <laughs> That's Obamacare for you. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with Mickey Work Immortals. Opens on Friday. <laughs> That's Mickey Rourke kicking ass on the Immortals on Open Friday. Here you play a king, King Hyperion. I went to acting school for five years to learn how to do that, yeah. <laughs> well, you, you know, that's what you learned in the park when you're getting your teeth yeah. knocked out, I guess. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> and is King Hyperion good or bad? They wanted him to be really bad, you know? And, you know, with my past, uh, with the 
psychiatry and everything. <laughs> I was trying to find some daylight, saying, well, justify. He said, well, let's pretend that this is his neighborhood, his block. Uh huh. And this little prick comes in and wants to step on toes. <laughs> you got to take care of business you if it's your do? block, you it's know, your, territory. Your, your neighborhood. Right, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the block, Kate, will you tell us how you got here tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I was at my hotel. Okay. I had a lot of stuff to do talking about King Hyperion and the Mortals, which I think is a really interesting movie. And um, I couldn't, my taxi's not here. My agent's calling me going, you know, you got to be responsible. You got to go see Jimmy Kimmel on time. And I said, you know, I'm sitting out there, the taxi's not coming. <laughs> and this, this electric blue, I never seen one before, Rolls Royce pulls up slow. It's got the tinted windows. And I hear, hey, white boy, I'll give you a ride. I said, oh, look at this one. He said, get in. So I'm starting to get in. He said, whoa, 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 whoa. He says, he says, what you got on your shoes? I said, no, no. He said, I got me some new tuck and roll in here. You know, be careful with them nasty shoes. I know, I don't know where you've been walking. So it was fitty. <laughs> said, All right, I'll take the ride. He gave me a ride, dropped me off. Hey, did you, you knew him before? I knew him a little bit, yeah. But I thought, wow, <laughs> there was no, no bodyguards, no entourage, just him. And then he said to me, <laughs> I said, I hear you're producing movies these days, you know, because he's a big entrepreneur, very sharp. Yeah. He said to me, this is, I'll show you how sharp he is. He goes, I want to do the beautiful game. Oh, your movie, this the about Garrett, rugby movie, wow. Garrett Tom. I said, how do you know about that? He said, I know, I know things. <laughs> Is it possible that he's stalking you? Maybe he purposely picked me up. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, you know. Maybe he's circling the building just waiting yeah. for you to come out. I don't think he's waiting for me, no. <laughs> he, he kept looking like, what do you have on your shoes? You know, because he kept talking about this tuck and roll he's got in the... Yeah. In the Rolls Royce. <laughs> yeah. And how will you get home? Will he come back and get no, you? Or got is Kanye me. West going to give you a ride? I or how will so. You... <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. You got your hand and footprints. Um, immortalized at the Brahmins County Theater. Yeah. I want to ask you about this. You signed it. Mickey Loki Rourke. Loki's my dog, yeah. Loki after your dog. Yeah. And that, you, that's um, unusual. Yeah. Because it seems like it's your nickname. Yeah. But that's your dog's name. Well, I got Loki there, my grandma, and my brother Joe. Oh, wait so a minute. So I was minute. able to roll it all in. You got Joe in Joe, there and grandma. grandma. Yeah. I misspelled grandma. Yeah, well, yeah. she won't mind. It's the thought it's that counts. Grandma, nah, nah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was nervous, yeah. <laughs> because I was talking to them other people that put the stars on the sidewalk yeah. a year or so ago. And they wanted to put Mickey Rourke on the star thing. And I sure. said, well, Mickey Rourke and Loki. And they said, no. <laughs> so we told them to take a hike. You know? <laughs> You told him, well, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Loki. You so demanded that you know. your dog's yeah. name be put on the star. Rin Tin Tin is there. Uh huh. Yeah. Lo <laughs> Loki was my Rin Tin Tin. Lassie. Yeah. 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 Benji's yeah. probably out there. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Right. You should start a rumor. <laughs> You start a rumor that Loki is is under the under the cement there on yeah, Hollywood the problem, Boulevard. But we're gonna we're all gonna be together. Loki's father, Bojack the Great, Angel, Kid Chocolate. Uh, <laughs> Nini, Romy, Monkey, all of them. I got the whole brood. Wow. We're all going to be put together. And do you travel with these animals? Well, those those guys are all gone now. I oh, got they new are. ones. I got Ruby Baby, Jaws, and Tango, and Mushikovsky. And they're, what kind of dogs are they? Pomeranians, Chihuahuas, and a Samoyan. That's a bigger dog, right? Yeah, they're Otherwise... all coming out Friday. Oh, they are. I'm going to do my training out here. Oh, wow. This with, is. With, yeah, they have a gay rugby team out here. <laughs> For real? No, for, for real. real. Yeah. They do? Yeah, I, I already spoke to them. And you're training with them? Yeah, I'm going to be. Are you, you know, training for the film We in have for six months, and now we train in another six months, then we start. That guy we saw on the video before you walked out, that was your trainer? Yeah, the Israeli guy with the wonderful personality. <laughs> <laughs> Is he no fun? No fun. No, not at all. I sneak down and order breakfast without him. Then I sneak home and I order, try to hide from lunch, because he comes over, pasta, no. Then he takes my cheeseburger, takes the bread off, the french fries. Oh, I, no. I, I don't even say hello to him in the morning. I, <laughs> I, hear, I, hear, I hear the blender going really loud to get me up, and I just look up from the sheets and I go, F you. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Mickey Rourke, everybody, is moving the mortals over on Friday. The Heraclean King, Hyperion, has declared war on all of humanity. I will end the reign of the gods. 
there is one human who could lead them against Hyperion, it would be Theseus. He does not fear danger. He fears only the failure to defend his freedom. The gods have given me vision. I cannot change the future. You can. Seal the gates and prepare for war. Now I unleash the Titans. Hyperion! Prove me. Ah!